Far Cry 5 and the history of Far Cry franchise. We'll take a quick look into history of Far Cry, see what has been a reaction of fans and the aim of developers. In the end, we'll take a look into new Far Cry 5 features and see what to expect from Far Cry 5. Far Cry is a franchise of first-person shooter video games, all of which have been published by Ubisoft. The first game, Far Cry, was actually developed by Crytek to premiere their CryEngine software and released in March 2004. Subsequently, Ubisoft obtained the rights to the franchise and the bulk of development was handed to Ubisoft Montreal. We have grown to love the series that has accompanied us for the last 14 years. Series that has influenced us, the gamers, in many ways and kind of retrospectively left a mark into our hearts and created a somewhat uh, a hefty bag of expectations for the future of gaming itself. The following games in the series have been used a Ubisoft modified version of CryEngine, the Dunia engine, which allowed open world gameplay. There have been four main games in the series, with a fifth one announced for this year, in a couple of days, namely Far Cry 5. Far Cry games, mainly, do not have any significant narrative elements, but instead share a theme of placing a player in the wilderness, where they must help to fight against the rebel-controlled regions as well as surviving against wild animals that lurk in the open wild. Far Cry games feature a robust single-player campaign, with later titles offering cooperative campaign support as well. The game also offers competitive multiplayer options and the ability for users to edit the game's maps and matches and so on and so forth. All the Far Cry games have generally been well received and uh, are considered commercial successes. Ubisoft even dares to report that through 2014, lifetime sales of Far Cry franchise has exceeded 20 million units. As mentioned earlier, Far Cry games are first-person shooters with action-adventure elements, whereas the first Far Cry and its spin-offs were typically linear-type leveled. But as Far Cry 2 and the subsequent games came along, all of them had adapted an open-world style of gameplay, similar in the nature to Grand Theft Auto series, with main story, side quests and optional missions to complete. There are minimal narrative elements and no chronological correlation between the games, Instead, the Far Cry games have generally just shared a theme of taking a player into lawless frontier, where values and laws of today are simply not functioning. Along with the elements and having to survive the wilderness, and including hunting and crafting, the players often need to work uh, with freedom fighters attempting to regain control of the region. Some of the games in the series have been more rooted in realistic conflicts, while others have been involved in elements of supernatural or science fiction. Ubisoft Montreal always tries to consider that all the games in the series share the same common fictional universe and have refused some minor characters to maintain that, but otherwise anticipate each game can be enjoyed as a standalone title, without the knowledge of other games in the series. This really was a game changer for me, because the first title I picked up was Far Cry 3, then came 2 and 1, and then 4, and after that Primal, which was really confusing for me, because Far Cry Primal should have been Far Cry 5, Thus, Far Cry 5 should be Far Cry 6. But let's get back on track. Far Cry took a year off in 2017, just as Assassin's Creed had a, a year before that. Definitely a good way to rather put the energy into innovation and try to do it right, not to release another Call of Duty, FIFA, UFC, NBA or WWE every fucking year. I'm simply just tired of buying them every year and I lose interest in progressing in one, cause I know that another one will come out soon anyways. And none of them are better than the other, with of course some exceptions. Far Cry 5 is almost upon us, and if the developers claims are to believed, then it's going to be a little different from its immediate predecessors. So, what differences might we expect this time around? Well first of all, there should be no minimap this time, it will truly give an explorer a sense of discovery. There will also be no radio towers this time, although this was never an issue for me, 
To be honest, I actually enjoyed seeking out the towers and clearing the fog from the map. Revealing all the secrets under it was fun for me. The map sizes always grew with the upcoming title and to be honest I was a bit let down when I saw Far Cry Primal's map. To its defense it was more filled with stuff but not too much though. In Far Cry 5 we will see a new system put in place that actually promotes you for your eagerness to explore, as even reading a signpost might let you know about a place that you can visit. Far Cry 5 also places a renewed emphasis on melee combat, which is uh, looking more brutal and satisfying than it's ever been in the series actually. There will apparently be a host of melee weapons that players can choose from and from regular daggers and baseball bats there are more over the top uh, pitchforks and sledgehammers, which sounds exciting. Driving vehicles is a pretty important part of Far Cry gameplay and it's looking like this time Far Cry 5 is going to be even bigger than the previous ones. Game should have bunch of vehicles, from trucks to muscle cars to ATVs and even massive 18 wheelers. But the variety of vehicles in the game is going to go far and beyond that. Players will also have the option to control various kinds of planes for full blown dogfights while taking control over boats as well. Far Cry 5 will also implement fishing, character creation, map editor and design function as well. This is going to be interesting definitely. Gameplay has also changed a bit as player doesn't need to go from quest to quest that might leave a somewhat linear taste to your mouth but you will now be able to do everything in the order you enjoy and come back to those you still are not equipped to take on. Everything in game promises to adapt your own decisions. It really sounds awesome. Although I have heard many promises that weren't kept before. Remember? Yes, the biggest flop in 2017. Anyways, back to Far Cry. Completing activities, side quests, story missions will earn you resistance points. You will probably accumulate them as you progress through the story and side missions. And when you finally have enough of those points, you will draw the attention of the relevant leader and lure them out to meet you head on. Far Cry 5 even lets you hire animals and NPCs to do some dirty work for you. Co-op will also be implemented and graphically should the game look spectacular to its ability to be enhanced in Xbox One X and PlayStation Pro. Ah, I'm just eagerly waiting. Couple of days now, couple of more days now. Let me know, uh, what do you expect Far Cry to be? And how do you believe that all the new features will be, will be as revolutionary as the franchise claims them to be? I'm truly waiting to get my hands on the copy and find out myself as well. If you liked the video, if you liked what you saw, hit the like, smash the bell and if you dare subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching, till next time.